The athletic department here at the academy is responsible for all things physical surrounding every cadet. This includes physical education, tools for lifelong physical fitness and wellness, as well as competitive athletics. All of our cadets participate in competitive athletics two out of three sports seasons each year. Why? Because we believe that this competitive sport experience is critical to the cadets' overall development. It's one of the cornerstones. Many people will say that you build character through sports. We like to think that your character is displayed or revealed when you play sports because you'll see things in a sport environment that you may not necessarily see in other areas. That's also a good thing because when you are under the pressure of a competitive sport environment, it's much like what you'll face out in the fleet when you become a junior officer. You're going to be put in pressure situations and have to make rational decisions. You're going to react to adversity, play within the rules, understand the ethics of competition, and work as a team. There's a magic that goes on here at the academy that turns cadets into officers, and athletics is one element of that magic. On an annual basis, two-thirds of the Academy student body competes at the varsity intercollegiate level. The Academy participates in 23 varsity programs, including the most popular mainstream sports played at colleges and universities across the country, and other sports that would be expected of a seagoing service academy. We're in the NCAA Division III, which means non-scholarship. Many people reflect upon that as being the last bastion of pure athletics. The opportunity to play and be a big contributor to a team, since it's such a small school, is very high. So that's also a great factor for coming here. I love it. You know, I've been on two great Coast Guard basketball teams in history. Um, my, first, my freshman year went to the NCAAs for the first time ever. And my sophomore year went to the Elite Eight, and it was great. I wouldn't trade anything in the world for us. The women's volleyball team has been very competitive within our conference and the region. We compete in the New England Women's and Men's Athletic Conference, competing against schools such as MIT, Springfield College, Wellesley College. I really encourage everyone to join the sport. The softball team made it to the NCAAs this year, so it was fun. I was the second baseman. My freshman year, I did three seasons of crew rowing, and then I did indoor and outdoor track. In recent years, several teams and individuals have earned significant recognition while advancing to the regional and national level, including men's soccer and football, men's and women's basketball, women's softball, swimming, and track. In fact, the Coast Guard Academy women's crew team has been invited to the NCAA championships five times in the last decade. In addition to varsity sports, the academy also boasts eight club sports, including ice hockey, water polo, men and women's rugby, and boxing. I was originally going to play basketball, and I kind of, when I found out that we had a boxing program here, that was something that really kind of uh, interested me. I, I didn't know too much about it. Most high schools don't offer it. I remember the first practice going down the gym, and first time I put gloves on, wraps on, punched the bay. I was, I was sold on it from there. So I was a three-time All-American, third class year, second class year, and first class year, and actually won the national championship at 165 pounds this year. Coast Guard Academy Boxing and Coast Guard Academy Athletics in general really had a very positive influence on it. For those cadets who are not varsity athletes, they still must compete at some form, at some level, and it's usually in a club sport level, if we don't offer that sport at the, as a varsity sport, or at the intramural level, where they're competing against cadets from other companies. So you're gonna, you may have to I mean, it's hard work. Being on a sports team is, you know, physically, emotionally draining, but when you form a bond with the people that are in your team, it makes it totally worth it. I mean, my, a lot of my best friends are on the women's rugby team, and these are friends that I'm gonna, that I plan on keeping in touch with throughout the course of my career. Sailing here at the academy is a, is a core sport, a sport program that's in season, all season, year long, 
and therefore we're involved in training as well as competitive programs. On the competitive side, we have um, an intercollegiate program which competes intercollegiately nationwide. And then we also have an offshore program which sails primarily in big boats um, and competes in uh, public races and regattas. I'm a bowman on her, which means I do all of the spinnaker work and change and I work up on the bow. Um, it's the most dangerous part on the boat because it gets slippery, it gets wet, and the boat's always heeling over. We're going through waves. Uh, actually, I set a record here at the academy. I'm the first cadet to fall overboard in more than 35 years or something like that. Academy coaches reflect the teacher-coach model, providing teaching, advising, and mentoring to cadets throughout the year. Coaches are caring, they're worried about how you're doing in school, how you're doing on the field, making sure your personal life's okay, are you okay at home, is your family okay? They do anything that they can to help you out and make sure that you have what you need to get through the academy and to do well and be successful. The play is Superman, ready? Go! Football at the academy is another way of developing leadership uh, techniques or abilities that come out and are used by Coast Guard officers as they go through the okay. program here. I believe that our football program through the teamwork and the leadership responsibilities that come through the game of football does help people become better officers. They expect uh, uniformed officers to, to conduct themselves in a certain manner and hopefully uh, in what we do in, in athletics uh, contributes in some small way to their development into um, effective Coast Guard officers. 